Hello guys, welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today we shall be obtaining a shape factor of a hollowed section. So, like the question says, obtain the shape factor of hollowed section shown below. Okay, we are given that the distance from here to here is 350 and that is our breadth. It's equal to 350 millimeter. And the distance of the square inside is our small b, which is 300 millimeter. Then our d is the overall depth which is 480 millimeter and our small d is equal to 400 millimeter um recall that shape factor is equal to plastic modulus all over elastic modulus and the, our plastic modulus is same thing as saying bc squared minus the small square inside Okay, and our B is 350 multiplied by C. And this C is just like the centroid. And the centroid of this shape will be at the middle. That is the total depth divided by 2. And that is 480 all over 2 is squared. Then minus the small B, which is 300 multiplied by the centroid also, but this one now you're going to talk about the square inside, the small one, and the small one has the depth of 400, so it will be 400 all over 2, then you square it. This will give you that ZP is equal to 8160000, okay, and it's in millimeter raised to power 3. Okay, alternatively, you can decide to take a moment about the neutral axis of this particular shape. So, when that is done, you're going to have that ZP is equal to 2XX. So, it's going to be 2 into... You know, if you divide this shape into 2, you're going to have uh, something like a rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is length times width or breadth. Um, that means it's going to be the total depth divided by 2 will be the distance from here to here and the breadth remain the same so that's going to give you uh, it's going to give us 350 multiplied by the 480 all over 2 that is the area then multiply by the centroid the centroid of the small rectangle that will be formed is going to be half the distance from here to here which is the total of the distance from here to here divided by 4 I have 480 all over 4, then minus, uh, you have uh, 300, that is for the one that is inside, multiplied by the depth of the one that is inside, and the depth is um, nothing but 400 all over 2, then multiply by 400 all over 4. When you play around with this, you still arrive at the same answer. millimeter raised to power theorem. Okay, for the ZP, which is the elastic modulus, um, it's something as saying moment of inertia all over Y, where Y is equal to D over 2. Okay, our I is equal to BD raised to power 3 all over 12 minus BD raised to power 3 all over 12. That will be equal to I will have 350 as B multiplied by 480 as D raised to the power 3 all over 12 minus 300 multiplied by 400 raised to the power 3, our small B and our small D all over 12. So I will be equal to 162560000 into 5. Um, and you know ZE is equal to I all over Y. That will be equal to one six two five zero six zero 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 into five all over D over two is same thing as four eighty all over two, which is two forty and it's in millimeter. Uh, this one is in millimeter rest of power four. Okay, then all over two forty. I'm going to have that Z E. Is equal to uh, if you divide this with that, you have six seven seven thirty 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 point thirty thirty 
millimeter raised to the power 3. Therefore, our shape factor is equal to Zp all over Ze, which is equal to, uh, we have our 816000 um, all over 677 If we divide this, we are going to have that our shape factor is equal to 1.2.